All right, let's talk about this. Uh, there's going to be a drastic change to Malik that is going to change everything. And it seems like a lot of people are upset and rightfully so. But basically what's happening is Malik's unique ability now is going to read Sith enemies can't gain bonus turn meter, excluding raid bosses. And this is a big deal because this primarily affects Palpatine, but really this affects so many teams and so many different things. There was already a, a anti-Darth Vader thing in there because he inflicts damage over time and then he gets fear. So the turn meter team gets shut down. Absolutely. Palpatine leadership right here gives a uh, turn meter. And so he's a Sith. And I just want to say this. Um, I, I'm not surprised that this happened. I actually was expecting a direct nerf to Palpatine. Like I thought they were just going to eliminate the turn meter on Palpatine and maybe rework the character. But as they said in their road ahead blog, that it's, it, takes a long time to rework a character. So that was not going to happen because they basically got rid of turn meter gain on Finn leadership, HK 47 leadership. And it, it would make sense for them to do the same thing on Palpatine. And this is why this is a turn based game. And no matter how you think about it or what you do to be cute, Speed, 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 and turn meter, turn meter is always going to be the greatest advantage you can have in the game, period, hands down. And a lot of these kits uh, that had turn meter manipulation are from way back. Uh, but I, I, like, I don't want them to nerf Palpatine's lead, but it's kind of like in the back of my head, I was thinking it's like, yeah, that's kind of an old school kit. Uh, they've already done away with Finn and HK-47. Is Palpatine next to be on the, the cutting block? Maybe they should just rip it off like a Band-Aid, like some Reddit user, and just get rid of all the turn meter gain leadership abilities, because it seems like they're going to have problems with kits and characters going forward. But uh, the nerf. <laughs> if you will, to Malik, the nerf that affects Palpatine affects Sith Assassin. And so the good news there is um, I don't have to gear him up anymore or her up anymore. I'm done with Sith Assassin. Don't have to worry about it. Uh, and it doesn't make sense to me because Sith Empire, so if you have Malik on your team that ruins Sith Assassin on your team and Sith Marauder to a lesser extent, so that you're forced into using the five characters, uh, Darth Revan, Fallen Bastila, HK, Malik, and Sith Trooper. And if you wasted your time uh, in the last month gearing up Sith Assassin and Sith Marauder, hmm, I don't know, man. That's kind of, I did spend a lot of resources uh, on Sith Assassin. In fact, my Sith Assassin, I uh, was barely ready to go. My Marauder was barely ready to go, and I've just stopped altogether on them. It's not a priority anymore. Uh, obviously, they're not that great. Uh, this affects Maul lead, uh, but mostly it affects Sith Assassin. And so um, this is frustrating, and a lot of people are upset. And uh, what bothers me the most is that if I look at the meta report right now, it really hasn't been any more diverse then it's the most diverse it's been in a long time. Uh, Darth Revan, Jedi Knight Revan, and then you had Palpatine all playing an important role recently. And for me, the meta has been the best it's been in a long time for the last month. And my prediction now is it's just uh, Big Bank takes Little Bank. Uh, you know, whoever has a 161 speed set versus 160 speed set on their Darth Revan Malik team is going to take take one. And that in a lot of ways that might be worse than Jedi Knight Revan. And so I hope that's not true. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, play testing and play testing and play testing. And the sole purpose of what my play testing is going to be is how do I beat this team right here, uh, right there in the middle is how are we going to beat that team? And so that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, I do want to read a couple things. And I want to say that this uh, controversy kind of like, uh, like, it's like everybody forgot, like, oh, eight hard nodes didn't happen. It got converted to five. And then, oh, my God, the, the event, we have one day's notice and only three days to finish it, which I think is the real travesty. I don't have any issue with the event being difficult or requiring characters. It's just 
giving us one day notice and then three days. And for me, I happen to be at a festival for three days. And uh, I just want to thank this guy that read this post because I pretty much did this. I just said, you know what? This is exactly what's happening. This post really uh, opened my eyes a little bit on something that I kind of thought in the back of my head is uh, I knew was really happening. And um, uh, he says that he works in analytics and he's shocked at the shockedness. And I just want to say, I think AI bots and AI uh, marketing techniques are actually uh, evaluating marketing techniques to us, the players, and we are all being put into little tranches, little categories on how much we spend, and everything is being optimized for spending. And this is what he says right here. My career has doing things like manipulate e-commerce upsells at checkouts or tweak the timing and frequency of abandoned cart emails. I measure clicks and conversions and analyze what point you elect to not buy things. I manipulate behavior on a handful of websites you probably spent money on one of them. And I'm going to suggest, because I've read articles that they actually have AI analytics doing a lot of this now. Bots trying to analyze uh, human behavior. I know at one time, another game uh, went to a lot of the whales inside of Galaxy of Heroes and did like psychological analysis on them and paid them for their time so they could do market research. There's a lot of do things. 100% confirmed whales are segmented and analyzed separately. And people who only buy $10 packs, shards, they're completely separated out. Those are not whales. Math geeks have done their spreadsheet work. They have accurate multiples in place and predictions for like, well, based on what we've seen before, the top experts of our spending base, I'm going to say it's probably like 1%, maybe 5%, is likely to chase this and require X amount of dollars to spend to get this character. And that is true. Now, he goes on this uh, tangent right here. It says like EA, subcontracting, CG, how is the deal closed? It has something to do with capital games. And capital games has to do with nothing about finance or anything like that. It has to do with that they're in Sacramento and like everything in Sacramento is like Capital Brewery and Capital Deli. And I think the roads are named Capital. It has to do with it's the capital of California. So I don't think anything has to do with that. Uh, although I like calling them Capital Gains rather than Capital Games, though. That's just a funny thing. And this is true right here. I hate to say this. And since complainers try to separate all like CG risk scalating the money, but the financials come back over and over the numbers have been run, transactions measured, multi-million billion businesses are not run by a handful of scheming greeting actors. Rubber ma manage to make decisions based on financial security of themselves, shareholders, and basically the whales spend no matter what. And a lot of the um, middle place people like myself do all the complaining and then the free to play players probably have the best mindset of all. They just figured, well, I'm going to have fun one way or another, and I'm going to get to that because this is why this post made me so happy. Uh, the Reddit rage is old hat at this point. Every emotional and sense ever does suppose is actually achieves the opposite of his intent. Smart, good-hearted, rational video game developers reach the conclusion is, eh, they just complain about everything we do. That's very cynical, but I believe it's true. So if you're not a whale, you're not getting Malik. And I've decided I'm no longer going to whale. I don't know why I, I thought I was going to whale on everything. Um, maybe, but it, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't, it doesn't fit my mindset. Don't worry. Next roll, it will be time to maximize the spend of the big dolphin bucket. The one after that, a small dolphin, an expert, free-to-play player. And it's going to work. The numbers don't lie. The solution is, if you're smart enough, to password protect transactions on your phone and give your password to a loved one. Farm less characters, only certain factions, and accept the, that the anxiety chemicals in your brain is producing comes from maintaining a level play. Try it. Leave trash on defense in arena for three days. Stop chasing the meta. You will never catch up, and you will never get ahead. Remember, you downloaded this free, pleasant distraction because you like remembering Star Wars. The secret to winning is not caring. See how high you can rank with your free-to-play Jawas. Hope this helps. Um, I got to tell you, this uh, post made me smile and gave me a lot of um, calmness about Malik's situation. It's like, oh, yeah, I just need to chill out. 
And I did, uh, I just, uh, I actually was, uh, like I said, I was at Coachella for three days and I just kind of gave up on my arena shard and, uh, you know what? I'm okay with it. You know, I didn't play for three days, dropped to 18, 18, and then 23. And I think I played one battle today and got to 12. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to keep, um, the top five with the team that I have. And you know what? I, if I can find a, a counter to Malik, uh, that's going to be the focus of what I'm going to do this week is try to just get uh, a counter to, to Malik and build a team and try to really make videos. Cause I'm sure there's a lot of people that have Malik, but I think there's a lot more people that don't. And uh, unfortunately, Palpatine's not going to work anymore. All right, guys. Well, I hope that helps you. I hope that this post helps you. It really did. And I just wanted to thank the person that created the post. Uh, Nick, thank you very much. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and keep on gaming.